All right, so you've all had my course uh, or one of my courses before. Um, and I want to kind of go through and remind you of some features of the way that I design courses. Um, and I'm going to re record this video for uh, next summer session students. So if you think of something that I didn't cover in this video, please jot it down and let me know. Um, first off, you'll remember the course homepage message changes from week to week, and this is where I just try to set the tone for the week and explain what's expected and how much time you can expect to spend. And again, that changes from week to week, and I will have an archive folder um, starting in week two so that you can uh, look at past messages. Um, in terms of the navigation over here, it's pretty, pretty similar. You have the course information section, which again houses the syllabus, schedule, and map. Um, there's also sections that you're going to help me flesh out as team leads this, um, this summer one session, and that is common terminology and tools that we use in our course and defining those for students, and then setting participation expectations um, and what, what uh, students can expect from uh, me as a professor and you as the team lead. So we'll flesh that out a little bit this um, summer one session. And then our um, netiquette expectations are there. Um, the professor information section um, will, will look pretty um, familiar to you. It has my contact information, um, Vita and Research, and Twitter feed. And then the weekly modules um, section of the course is going to look somewhat familiar to you, except for I didn't use learning modules this, um, this go-round. Instead, I used um, content folders, and I'll show you what I mean in just a second. But you'll see that by the end of the five weeks, you're going to see all five folders. Um, but starting this first week, you're just going to see week one. Um, and if you click into the week one folder, this is what I mean. Um, instead of a learning module like you've had in the past where you click um, next to go to the next item, um, I really wanted to hit this learn, explore, connect, collaborate, and experiment, apply um, sort of routine down. So, so I built the, the module within a folder so all of the items are visible as soon as you click on it. So you see in the learn, explore section there's the soft chalk, the connect, collaborate, there's directions for setting up the Google account and sharing a Google document the introduction discussion. And then um, when we get down here, this is another area where it's going to vary, it's going to change in summer too. So instead of you as a team lead taking a self-assessment over this module, I want you to submit to me five quiz questions that I can compile into a bank. So um, you'll, you'll see the directions for this when you get to this part, but that's a little bit different from what the um, summer two course is going to have. And then um, the reflection document, um, I'm going to go through in a little bit with uh, directions for that. But that's, that's the only difference between what you've seen in my past courses and the way that I've structured these weekly modules. In terms of mail, you can get to it the same way. Um, there is a class roster feature, which is kind of neat. We're going to experiment with that a little bit um, this semester and see if that has any value for the summer two course or not. Um, and then your my grades and your Blackboard help. Um, just a few other tips. Again, you can hide your course menu if you need a little bit of screen real estate here and then expand it again. Um, if you need to do any customizing of your My Course Sites, this My Course Sites is the same as your My Blackboard. So if you click it, it's going to take you back out to where you can see your courses listed here. Here's our course. You can personalize your page. Um, they do let you move some of these modules, um, but you don't you don't have to. Um, it has actually quite a bit more than our our Tarleton Blackboard system has. But this is the main box you need here, which is our course. Okay, and up next, I'm going to go through the course syllabus, the course schedule, and the course map. 